guys, I'm here with Ryan. We went to the thrift store and found some stuff for my brother and some stuff for Ryan to sell and some stuff for him to keep. So we're gonna show you guys what we got. Okay, we just had to start this video over because it was in the middle of filming and <laughs> it stopped and I think it's because I ran out of storage on my phone. So that's annoying. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, my name's Heather. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Real Real, ThreadUp. Ryan sells on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. Yeah. He's getting a little bit more freedom with eBay where he can list more. Um, I'm a homeschool mom of two kids, Grace and Ryan, obviously. I'm a volleyball coach, volleyball player, and I love Disney. So if you like reseller content, hit the like button down below. Subscribe button with the bell next to it. That way you see every time I put out new videos. So we're just gonna kind of go one at a time and show you what we picked up and maybe tell you a little bit about it maybe if we know how much it's going to sell for we'll let you know the size if you see anything you're interested in make sure you can um, leave a comment below you can message me on instagram or email me and we can work out a deal hopefully okay right you want to go first yeah so we got these size 13 converse they're i don't think they're new but they're pretty good condition yeah leather, leather. So these were in a new cart that came out yeah. and we saw them kind of from a little bit far away. Knew we wanted to look them up and it looks like they sold on eBay before for $55. So they're a size 10. I mean, they were $10. They're a size 13. Yeah, they're size 13. But I thought $10, if you can resell them around 55, 60, that's worth it. So yes, I suggested for Ryan to get those. This is a pair of old Stuart Weitzman, which I do get this sometimes, but this old pair, I'm probably just going to send to the real real because they're in good condition. I'm not going to sell them for much. I'll probably make 10 or $15, but I don't have to do any work. So I'm going to send these to the real real. You got this Eileen Fisher shirt that I found like near the end. Yes. And <laughs> it's good condition. It's a button up, but we think it's linen, but yeah. it doesn't have the material it's, tag and it doesn't have the size tag out. either, but it's pretty big. So I think it's like a two X oh, or yeah, something. Yeah, two X or we'll just like make sure to add measurements. Yeah. Okay, this is the brand Latigo, which I don't quite remember where it's sold at. This is like a red leather slingback, I don't know, boot, mule, heel. I was trying to say all at the same time. Um, size eight and a half, but they are new, as you can tell. Nothing has been worn on the bottom, and they were only $7, so good for fall. This color is good for fall. We got these uh, new tags. Let me get the tags out for it's for my brother. Yeah, new with tags, North Face. Got like kind of like a, a camping design on it. It's got a like an interesting little like pole strap on the front to tighten it. I've never seen something like that before. But yeah. Those should be good for him. Yeah, those should be good for him. This is a pair of new with tags loft shoes, and I basically don't ever get loft, even if it's new with tags. But um, the style with these loafers and this like horse bit kind of look, I think will be good. And they're a size nine, like I said, new. They were eight dollars, but I think you could still sell them for 35 or so. So it's a good time to sell something like this for fall. We got this, I think this is size eight. Yeah, size eight Athleta joggers. They're yeah. white, but yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get out the wrinkles. They're like camo, they're like ever so slightly like desert camo coming. Kind of yeah, and they're tight. Um, it's a newer one because it has the style name up here on the tag. So you can tell what it is without having to look the style number up, which is super nice. Okay, this is a pair of vintage shoes. The brand is Candies, which doesn't really matter, but this style is really popular right now because like 90s and early 2000s are coming back and Ryan almost knocked over our camera. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, anyway, very chunky black square toe shoes. They're a size seven and a half. They're in really good condition. I don't know. Do you think, look how, there's not even dirt in the bottom. Oh, no. Like if they were ever worn they're back so from whatever. Fat, oh, yeah, they're so fat. But I think these will be really good. So we'll have to look up about how much these are selling for, but hopefully they sell fast. We got this huge puffy North Face jacket, which I think should be able to sell good. And I think it was, we this is a men's. for 150 Yeah, we saw one that sold because it's 700 fill, so it's probably down filled. It's got like little spots back here. Yeah. You can't barely There's some small little them. spots. So usually I ask my brother for men's items, but because of those spots, he wasn't, he doesn't like to do any work because he just does eBay as like a side job. 
So he was like, if you guys want to clean it off and keep it, you can. And so I told Ryan that that's worth it to clean it off. It's a really good time to be selling stuff like that with like colder weather coming. Yeah. This was up front when we first walked in. It's one September anthropology brand, which I'm really picky about, but it was only $1.99 and I like the style of it. We looked online and it sold for 20 or 25. So I figured that'd be good to try. Here's these blanky leggings, I think. Yeah, blanky. Yeah. Ryan was kind of laughing because he was holding them up. I don't remember what he was saying. Oh, he was faking and saying they were oh, athletic. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And right when he held them up, I'm like, oh, are those blanky? And he's like, how'd I, you know that? I don't know how she gets that right. But, <laughs> but I've already sold the same exact pair of yeah. leggings twice before. And people have said they're really good for maternity. Well, you can tell because look, that's yeah. like where their belly goes. Very puffy. <laughs> yeah. What size are those? Let me see. Let's see. They're size large. Okay. Size large. Okay, these are a few bras. I met Amy. Um, her Instagram name is Nebraska Hanger, so I'll pop that in here. She was really nice and introduced herself. She gave me a few bras because she all of a sudden had to leave. So if you're watching this, thank you. This one is the Perfect Line Coverage. It's a 34 double D. I'm gonna sell these, not Ryan. Have you been yeah. keeping those piles separate of yours and Uncle Bubba's? Yeah, these are all mine. Wait, I think this is this, right? Yeah, but you didn't show that yet. Okay, let me show you the other bras. Um, these were only $1.99, so pretty cheap. This is a 32 double D, and this is the Uplift Semi Demi Bra. And then this one is 32 double D, same thing. So I'll probably list those that tan this one together since they're same size and same style. So anyway, that was nice she gave those to me. I have this, like, Johnny O, like, flannel. Yeah, this is something That's we got from my brother. Yeah. He picks up that brand for men's and it does pretty good. Yeah, that should be good for him. I need some more stuff over here, Ryan. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to also like multitask. I'm trying to look for thread up rescue boxes because I haven't gotten any recently. And we just had to cancel my volleyball game for tonight. I only have eight girls on my high school team. And then yesterday one of them was sick and then one of them hurt her finger. And then today another one's sick. So now we're down to five. So we have to cancel tonight's game. It's like, bleh. get all the information out to the parents. Okay, this is Torrid size two. These are a pair of like black leggings, but they have this like cutout detail with like the plaid underneath. So I figured those would be worth a try. They look comfortable and they're super stretchy. Okay, we need to keep the stuff separate. This is yours. Got this super cool Disney plus like collab with jeans. <laughs> we don't Space Mountain thing. Yeah. We don't really know, but Because it says Disney. Disney Parks inside there. Show them yeah. the tags. But it also said Hanes Beefy too. Yeah, beefy I'm tea. Sick. What I wonder is, Ryan, originally these Hanes beefy teas are like vintage shirts. Yeah. So. And I wonder if Disney bought just like plain vintage shirts and then they made theirs with a vintage design. Because sometimes people like the feel of the vintage shirts. Yeah. Anyway, I'm like, if Ryan doesn't wear this, I'm going to wear it. And he made fun of me and says it's men's, but I said it doesn't matter. But I'm going to Disney in November and this is a super cool shirt. <laughs> or I could make it into a tank top maybe. Don't make it into a tank top. It could be cool. Do not. Might do it. No, you better not. Are you wearing this? I'm not gonna let you wear it. So well, I'm you know what? Wear. We're keeping it up here. Okay, next. <laughs> this is also for my brother. This is an Oakley shirt. He likes these ones better that are more like the dry fit material rather than just the cotton. So it's a size medium. I mean, even if you see stuff in here that my I'm said I'm picking up my brother and you want it, let me know because I can always talk to him about that. Oh, I got a new offer, Ryan. Ooh, nice. <laughs> okay, so. Yes, that's my brother. Put that up there. Put that in his pile. Yes. We got this Ugg sweater, I think. Like yeah, this was hoodie. Ugg's hoodie. It was in the men's, but I think it might yeah. be women's, but... Mm. I, know, it's hard to tell. I think there's a style number inside there that we can look at later and we can see. Yeah. Probably women's, I'm just guessing. Yeah. But yeah, that should sell pretty good. I've sold Ugg clothes before and they do pretty good if you price them right. Yeah. Okay, these are a pair of Torrid leggings. These are size two, they were right by the other ones. These ones are black high rise and they have this like cut out kind of on the bottom of Very the Very interesting ankle. things, but who knows, someone might like them. Yeah, somebody will like them. It doesn't have, a, I don't see an item number, so. Oh wait, yeah, I do, right here. Oh, yes. Right and it says it was from February of 2020, so they're actually not even that old. So we'll look those up with the item number and list them. But we found a few pairs of the same size, but we'll have to see, we might list them all, have them list them all together if it's like pretty much the same style. 
And we got this sweet baby Yoda shirt for me. <laughs> yeah, this is for Ryan. So I told him I would pay for this and he had to yes. pay for the longboard. Yeah. So it says wanted. That will be very cool. Yeah. Definitely a good shirt to wear. Yeah. So keep that in like put, put to your bedroom pile. There you go. Okay, tore it again, size two. Let's see what these ones are. These ones don't have any kind of detail on the bottom. They're just like a black basic. Yeah. Actually, there's like I a little like, I don't know. See that little like V cut? Yeah, yeah, it's like a weird. Yeah, but we might still, we could probably still list them all together because they're like really yeah, similar we got, we got like two more of those ones that are basically the exact same. Yeah, I think so. so. That could be a bundle. Yeah, you could sell those all together like in a bundle. Which would be nice. Yeah. We got, what is this? This is a Oh, that's a also for my brother. Bike from Buckle. Buckle. Yeah. BKE from Buckle. It's a new with tags puffer vest, which is perfect for this time of year. And it was yeah. only seven ninety nine. Nice. Yeah. And it retailed for 65 So, good. yep. We'll give that to him next time we see him. Just put it up there with that stuff. Um, he picked up a couple of Victoria's Secret Pink, which still sells well with certain styles. It sells good for me on Macari. This one's a size medium. So this one's kind of like a, almost like a spirit jersey style with a maroon yeah. and white color style. block. Yep, and then it has that across the back. Oh, so piece I'm guessing to probably, you would sell this for around 20, but maybe list it for 25. Yeah, it's okay. So yeah, that'd be good. And this is another pink one. We have one that's exactly like this, but it's just different colors and it's yeah. the same size. We could put this and the other one that I'll show later in a bundle. Yeah, like that pink. one's purple and this yeah. like this is called space dye where it's like yeah. kind of like heathered like that. Yeah. So that one's in really good condition. At least giving us a look over there. Let's see here. Okay, these are just Nike, which I basically don't hardly ever get, but there was two of them. And they're both the same style and they're both extra large. So the larger sizes for workout stuff is always great. So I just suggested to pick them up and just list them together for maybe like 40 bucks or so. They're just some little black shorts. And here's the other pink oh, sweater. Yeah. It's the same thing, same size. It's just like yeah. pink and black instead of like purple and kind of gray, but. Yeah, you could probably list style. those together. Probably list them maybe 50, huh? 60 Yeah, maybe. maybe 50 and try to get 40, Yeah, $20 each. That would at least be good. Yeah. This is a brand Soft Surrounding. So this was actually on a new rack that I saw a different reseller come through. Um, as somebody, I don't know who it is, but I've seen him in there before. And so you can just tell when people are resellers sometimes. Anyway, sometimes though people look for different things. So it's like, it, maybe some people might know the brand, but it's not what they like to sell. So anyway, we picked it up. It's a size large. It's like a green, I don't even know what, oh, like a tunic, but it's, it's like super yeah, like, soft. And it's got like weird stripes going yeah. across it. It's very healed. It's like kind of looks like suede, but it's just like a super yeah, soft it's material. Very soft. Yeah. It's made with polyester spandex. Yeah. Soft surroundings always has a style number in here, so you can look up what it's called really easily on Google. So that'll be good for like fall time. That color. And then we got this Ralph Lauren polo. I think I was gonna sell this, right? Yes. I told him that's kind of like it's, '90s or yeah. Y2K vibes. It's, it's a good style. For Cable knit. Currently. With the like logo, I've sold a crew neck. Um, with like the polo up there recently for 30, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, I like five years ago, that probably wouldn't be in style, but now it's like back in style. Mm -hmm. So I told him to I get it. Oh, so for around 30. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking maybe around 30. This is an Athleta dress. So this is, I think one of the newer tags. It's a size medium. It's just like a black long sleeve sweatshirt dress. It's a little bit worn out and fuzzy, yeah. but we can wash it. I think that should be fine. But it looks like it's from fall 2020, so it's, it's only like a year yeah, old. So it's, so it's pretty current. It's current, yeah. Let's see, what's this one? Where is it at? It's a, oh yeah, this is an Eileen Fisher, like kind of like oh, yeah. turtleneck, right? That's a nice sweater. It's, and it's very like nice. And good for fall. It really fall. doesn't look like it's that worn at all. No. Let's see what it's made out of, because right. sometimes they have yeah. good fabric. Oh, it's 100% merino wool. So oh. that's really good. So you want to put whenever your stuff has really good fabric content besides like normal cotton or something, it's good to put that in your title and description because some people might search for like merino wool sweater or something like that. I could so, sell maybe 35 since it's a... Yeah. 
that are 35, maybe a little higher. We'll yeah. look and see if we can find any similar ones. I don't have anything else new. Pass me something. Here we go. This is a Ram Sinful, which Ryan passed up, but I was kind of watching him. It's not going to sell for a ton, but maybe 20 bucks. But this is sold like at the buckle and people like it. This is like a black, I mean, a gray burnout cross jeweled blinged out top. I don't know. Somebody will want that. I've sold Sinful for women pretty quick before. What is this? Okay, this is... Oh, oh that's yeah. for Uncle Bubba. I have no idea how to say that either. <laughs> Let me see. We have... Bugachi? Boog Bugachi? I don't know. Something I just like know that. that he wanted it. We got like... A and like, couple. yeah, there was like four shirts in a row that came out in New Rex that I bought for him. There were some pretty cool patterns though. Like, look at this yeah. one. That's the sleeve. I think this is, oh, this is a different Saint brand. Croix, yeah, right? Saint Croix. Saint Croix. He said he wanted yeah. that. I don't know. He sell men's. Apparently these are good men's brands to pick up. got another Bugachi or something. <laughs> yeah. Then... I know about some men's stuff, but sometimes I don't. But I can just look and see what he sold before, and then it's it helps like me know what he likes to pick up. That one looks like a paint splatter or something. Yeah, that's what I was going <laughs> to say, paint splatter. So it's probably like a cool. That's another Bugachi or something. Yeah. I don't even know how you say that. However you say that. Okay, is this the last thing? Yeah, that's the last thing. Okay, this is the last thing. This was also in the new rack that someone else went through, but we picked up the soft surroundings and we picked up this Sundance. Yeah. It's like a blue chambray with like the red embroidery button up top. Sundance has always sold pretty well for me. This should sell around 30 maybe or so. 100% cotton. It should be easy to find a stock picture because you can put like blue shirt, red embroidery. So anyway, that was what we got. Good stuff for Ryan. Lots of stuff for my brother, plus the skateboard. But yes. That's so that's good. Great. So actually now since my volleyball game's canceled, I think I'm gonna go back out for myself because I don't have like anything back up to list except for a few things from some thread up rescue boxes. So I'm gonna go shop. Ryan's gonna do his school. It's like, what time is it? 12.45 and he hasn't done school yet, but that's the nice thing about homeschooling. It doesn't take we don't, that long. Yeah, it doesn't take that long and we don't have to follow a schedule. We can yeah. make our own schedule. So uh, that's it, I guess, right? Nope. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.